There we go. Oh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be a so mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Blast Brigade vs. the Evil Legion of Dr. Creed. Our fifth stream of this about, I believe. I... <laughs> I haven't been keeping count too much. Okay. <clears throat> Last time, we got our fourth character unlocked, Vortex. And, yeah, we finally learned what those stupid totems were for. Yeah, they're for teleporting around with... Uh, Great. Yep. <laughs> they're for teleporting around with her boomerang. Or... I think it's called something else. Let me quickly check. Chakram. Uh, yeah, Chakram. Okay. <clears throat> it does have a typo in its text. Yeah, it, it had one, yeah, but it doesn't have it here, I believe. Yeah, Chakram. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, Chakram. It it yeah, it, okay, there. In the, the first time it's mentioned in the text itself. Chakram. <laughs> okay, you, you think they'd have spotted that after <laughs> in the two years since this game has been out. Yeah, but it. It's, it's just a minor typo, so I don't think it's part of top priority. I'm not surprised they focus more on bug fixing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Last time I said I would go explore around here for more side stuff, but I haven't gotten to that yet since I'm still busy editing down the footage from the previous attempt, which, well, altogether took about... <laughs> it took up about an hour. Uh, well after I already cut everything down to only the places we hadn't been yet. And, yeah, so I've been cutting that down further yet to about half an hour now. Okay, uh, where do we need to go? Yeah, the toxic ducts. Okay. Well, let's head over there. Mm -hmm. And try and get into the fortress again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. We're just... We'll just pull an action hero move. Action movie stunts. <laughs> oh okay. dear. Reminds me, we, we just before Steam started, checked out how many games the developers have done. Yeah, and this is their first and only one at the moment. Yeah. And uh, it was released two years ago. Yep. I'll take that. Yeah, I, I, I do hope that they'll be able to make more games. Yeah. Am I look up? Am I look up hmm. if many people have been playing this on YouTube? For that's usually a good sign if how popular it is. Sort of. Are you what to say? Now, <clears throat> I was just yeah, that was just an uh, an arena. I thought there might have been something hidden there, but no, that was just one of the little combat arenas. All right. Yep. Okay, so those things will stun us if they land on us. Okay. So yeah, for seeing it being one point and a very low lumber means they probably were able to make it decently bug-free. Yeah, we have probably seen only one typo. Yeah. This is a very rare and very good thing. Go. But that does mean uh, you, the more bug free the game is, the faster you can just. Yeah, the less time you need to spend time fixing it and you can move on to the next thing. Yeah. I think I'll, pro I'll probably still look if there's somewhere to report the typo. But, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Hmm. I just hope uh, that the studio, whoever is uh, the made it, uh, are still around. Probably, but, yeah. We'll have to see. <clears throat> really? Again, what is it with... That's the second time now, at least, that they've put a bat somewhere where we need to jump, so there is no way to defend against them and knocking us back. That That is just bad design. I will fully say that, and I will fully complain about that. 
Yeah, like, they, they have been inventive in some areas. In a good way, and others a bit. Uh, question mark. Question mark. Like, overall, the game is still good, but very clearly, someone has been screwing stuff up. Yep. Damn it. I jumped too early. But also, yeah. be someone uh, wanting a bit of a devil, uh, hardcore Metrovania style. I find that doubtful with all the rest of the, uh, the game so far. But, yeah. Let's see. That just brings those out again. Okay. Continuing on. Elevator. Let's... Okay. Hmm. No juice. There's got to be a generator around here somewhere. Okay, just down below. Or... No. Okay. <laughs> Well, that would have been way too easy to get into the tower that way, huh? I was half expecting we'd have to move this thing around. Can we even get up there? Good question. Hmm. Uh, we do need the uh, Galahad uh, for that one. True. For now, let's go look for that generator. At the very least, we can refill our uh, refill our heels. I, okay. I do like that they made the bats more than just poke and kill, but in a, it probably they made them a little bit more more dangerous. Yeah, like they are mutant less... bats, so it somewhat fits, but. Yeah, whoever whoever was in charge of enemy placement here and there just I feel like they were not either not paying attention or just being a troll with where they put some of them. Yeah, like as we said, very glass candy like most bats in a game. But yeah, they give them more abilities besides just poking. Yeah. This is why they are more dangerous. Because I guess those mean you actually be considered um, uh, an actual threat instead of uh, a troll. A metaphorical trolling uh, unit that just pokes you to your death. Yeah. That block from this side. Uh, it, does, it, it does feel like they made it uh, maybe a bit too extra dangerous. Maybe, yeah. Okay. And hello, Marco! Hey, Marco, how are you doing today? There. Yep. Okay. So, hmm. the thing I've questioned the most in this game that I find the most weirdest is probably the carnivorous plants. It says you need to make them snap by sipping through the mob. But you need to repeat hmm. the same jumping over and over till all they closed and make sure they don't open before you got them uh, through them. The puzzle. That is a bit of a standard thing that you can find in platformers, but they do snap shut very quickly on Substack. Yeah. I don't think I have it. I think I've seen platforms to move or just. Mm -hmm. Fall down, but a platform you need to make shot without getting bitten? That one is new for me, at least. Yeah, that, that has been in other games. But yeah, typically they don't snap and shot that quickly, or at least in my experience with it as well. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. A bit odd. Oh, I see. The, the chakra goes in and stays in. Okay. There. And... <laughs> secret found. Okay. Money will be useful. Hello, and the shortcut. Uh, anything we're missing? That... Actually, we don't even need to go up. So... Good. 
Oh, because they, they, they take uh, actually a few hits from that. Yeah. Typically, bats in games die in just one shot or such, but yeah, not here. Which, with their placement, makes it very annoying here or there. But in general, it does make them more interesting than normal bats, but still. Yeah. Also, why, why are there just electrical systems specifically designed for this bloody chakram? Yeah. That is a bit weird. I'll look back. There we go. And why is that there? Okay. There's something up there. Yeah, this just goes back to the safe. Look, bag. Ow. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, that, that, that's a pathway for you for the fruit to get up to the bag. Hmm. There we go. Now we the, the 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 hidden path here below the there doesn't really seem to be much of a reason for that to be there, seeing as it just goes the same way as you would go with these. Or, oh, wait. Oh. Okay, that's why. <laughs> There's no way down here for to bring this thing down. Yep. Okay, so that's why it's there. Oh, hello. Into note, strict lockdown. Update. Threat level of the lower region has been elevated to absolutely fatal. Access to the lower region of the toxic ducts is now forbidden to any personnel, including those of lieutenant rank. Turn back now. Okay, they really are just playing up how freaking dangerous this place is supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, that was dumb. But in my defense, this... <laughs> This looks a lot cleaner than the rest of the junk we've seen so far. Yes. Uh, I still will not trust it. Uh, um, why is that hanging there? Good question. Okay. There's one of those helmets. I don't remember if we've seen a drone like that before. Uh, I think we have, but... Not since start, I think. Hmm. Or a while back. There we go. Yeah, screw your laser defense system, I have a bouncy metal thing that lets me teleport. Okay. Now, is all of this to just... Yeah, it gets all to get the helmet. Okay. That means there should be one more, I believe. Possibly. I think... I think the Hench Maniac was talking about four helmets. So, yeah, there should be one more somewhere. And yeah, I don't think we've seen that thing at the start, because I don't remember just a beam drone. Yeah, I, I remember... I remember seeing a flying drone like that before. It could be a new model. Okay. I think we've gone... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've gone through here before. In for one... Because this air that this area was here already, though not filled in. And also, actually, we can just do that. Hmm. There is something else hidden around here. Up is that wall breakable or... Or the floor? There we go, another, another one of these. 
Uh, let's see. I think those are for Galahad's outfit. Yeah. I'm curious how those look, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to go looking all over the map for them. But it, I guess you can say this. If we fi somehow find a complete set for one of the characters before we finish the game, awesome. If we don't, not too the bad. end of the world. Yeah. What do you say now? Yeah, too bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I misheard you then. Yeah. I'll, I might if I can if I can find them whilst uh, looking for other stuff off stream, then I will go grab them there. But yeah, not going to actively look for them whilst we're going through them <laughs> as we're trying to get uh, further into the game. Yeah, like we might have one more stream, but at the same time, I would not be surprised if we finish it today. But not like not like within an hour, maybe closer to when we usually end the stream. Maybe. I think we have at least another. A stream that we can get out of this. Yeah, I, I suspect as well. It, it will depend on how much we get stuck on things. Like, let's be honest, the two last streams with the, the other boss fights we have had, we really get, really get stuck on them for quite a while. How are we supposed to get past here? This is clearly the only way that we... Oh, wait, no. Did I? Yes, I wasted all of... <laughs> oh. Okay, I should have paid better attention to the map, because there's very clearly there that we're supposed to go. This is the exits. And hey, I thought you just wanted to be the quick uh, treasure hunt. Yeah. But no, you just got lost. Okay, quickest way to just get back there is to get ourselves killed. That... Okay, that fell to you, and... Are you sure you wanna... Uh... Wait, don't we lose items if you do that? Uh, true, but it is only 100 coins. Oh, I, I meant more like the pickups, like the bag no. and all. Those do not get lost. Oh, thank goodness. As you can see, it is still marked as collected. Oh, bloody heck good. Okay. Yeah, just yeah, coins, fine. But it'd be annoying if we had to do redo posters just to get that damn bag again and all that. It was it. It was a helmet, not a bag. Are you paying attention? We, we, we also picked up a bag and a helmet. Those SS thingies. Uh, key card. That was not a bag of. either. Wait, what? did we pick up any of those orange bags? It's not. It's not a bag, it's a kit. Also, that's enough hey, to get the... Uh, that's enough to get the weapon shop upgrades. Can you blame me for calling it a bag when it looks like a bag? Okay, really not liking the, just the home and shots from these guys. Yeah, like, sure, it's unique to see a home in slime ball, which is in some way terrifying. But yeah, enemies like that usually oh, are great. annoying. And I just realized we did another stupid because we can't go this way either way anyways. Because it's locked. Then the question remains, how the hell are we supposed to get in there when both entrances to it are sealed? Okay, time to scout the map. Are we missing something? Very clearly no, because the open entrances are marked with yellow. And there's a seal here, there's a seal there, so... Where the heck are we supposed to go then? Either way, I'm, I'm heading back to the to the base for now. So we can unlock the weapon shop's next stage. And see what he has to offer. Yeah, I agree, therefore... Some new witnesses can be of very big use. Hopefully. There. 
<laughs> Pardon? That's... Okay. Oh. That's what mm. I'm hearing. Heavy right. rain. So, Marco, you could just Google them if you want to. I'd say you got one more stream of this game. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we could upgrade this. Or upgrade this. Let's go with this one. Yeah, let's... I hope the new map is a bit more... Um, Com <laughs> a compact rocket launcher armed with highly explosive homing missiles. Beautiful and bombastic. Okay. And it's called... Sweet Home. Why does what? it have... Why does it have the Creed logo on it? Uh, Mr. Goods, you've <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say that Creed probably has been supplying uh, <laughs> him with some stuff. Oh, another he Volky. been supplying Creed. Yeah, probably the other way around since it has his logo on it. Doubles ammo drop chance, lead fever, fire sale. Ammo drops give twice as much ammo, but disappear three times as fast. And you still haven't found any of these damn vaults. But I, I'm presuming they are all just in the fortress somewhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, so Marco, I think the part I hated the most was getting out of the toxic ducts. You mean this bit? Where we need to get into uh, the fortress or the first time you get in there? Oh, so we could hand over the the helmets. Let's just quickly give the hand maniac a visit. Hmm. Yep, yeah, down here. Also, is it just me or that's supposed to that's supposed to represent the. Uh, pipe that we're falling into, but it to me it just looks like a toilet with an extra small back, you know, extra small cover. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I was thinking either it was like a toilet or a badly drawn open can. Wrong way. There. Almost went a completely wrong way. Let's see, Marco. When you get into the fortress and Creed uh, tells you... Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Hansmaniac, I've brought another helmet. Oh, another guest, number 465. How glad I'm to see you, buddy. A question for you. Did you perchance remember that one time we were sealed on the ground and left for dead in this picturesque sewer, despite completing the mission? You just had to volunteer our squad, didn't you, number 465, for overachieving kisser of asses? <laughs> Don't fret, it all turned out okay. Look at me, happily retired and getting the gang back together. Yeah, his sanity is certainly retired. Who are you talking to, man? We value your privacy among this circle of companions. Here, a reward so you will leave. There's only one, and there's one helmet left, so giddy up, apparition. Okay, Blast Beacon. And I believe those... Wait. Yeah. We have one more? Yeah, those one are one. for Jeff. Uh, I was thinking well, if we had an extra helmet. But we didn't no. sell enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, the, fir the first visit to the Toxic Docks was a pain in the ass as well. I just hope that this time isn't going to be as much of one. Even though I have absolutely no clue how we're supposed to continue on at the moment. So I may look up a tip at the very least to see how we're supposed to get into an area that's sealed from both ways. Maybe there's something I overlooked. Hmm. I very much doubt that there's a lever somewhere else that's supposed to open those doors. I think it's I saw something not how... weird. Hmm? There's something weird on the map. Yeah, it looks like... Why is that part like that? Is that hmm. supposed to be breakable or just, uh, just for looks? I'm not really seeing anything similar to it. Oh, there is over here, but it could... 
Hmm. Maybe that signifies a damaging part of this ceiling or something. Let's go take a look all the same. Yeah, just in case for... Sometimes we look in a map, you can see something that looks suspicious and ends up being... Well, something. There. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's, it's damaging spikes. Uh, all right. Hmm. Okay, let's look here one more time. We can also get our coins back then. But if I can't find how we're supposed to get past the locked door, then I'm going to look it up. Yeah, like, we don't mind to explore and take a little time at times, but there's a point where we rather just look it up to avoid spending an hour Forever. as I've been confused. Well, then, hey, it reminds me, like, when I, you uh, screenshot me before I joined the commentator, he screenshot me, uh... Yeah, I think actually it was, uh, one of the Soul River games. And he was stuck on a puzzle for almost 45 minutes. Yeah, the, the, and, then it just turned out that I could yes. push a box around somewhere. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. I was on the other side of the screen and tried to tell him or rather, I was thinking, I, I should tell him, to realize he probably can't hear me, for he probably had Discord muted. So I was sitting here, just pointing, just push the box, push the box, push the box, just praying. He... Yeah, you, 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 I think, don't think you were able to finish it, it on that stream. Yeah. I told you after the stream, and then, uh, yeah. Okay. Ow. Okay. I'll take that. I will not take that beam, though. Okay, I think I've seen a similar helicopter drone before. Just this one seems to have a different weapon. Hmm. Now, if they were similar before, it was more just firing bolts like the others. Let's see. Wait, is this one... Okay, this looks like a, just a big shortcut. There we go. Why is... Why is there a hook there? To... And yeah, that's <laughs> just a shortcut for everything. Let's see, Marco, personally, I think it's better to play the game on keyboard since you have a mouse that shows where the bullets go. Yeah, true, but I've been using the controller so far. Let's see. Yeah, very clearly, we need this. We need the sh the chakram to get around in there. Hmm. hmm. I'm a bit curious if the hitboxes for each character is somewhat different or not. I guess... Yeah, Shura is a bit shorter than the others, but she has that big afro that also counts as a hitbox, I presume. Plus, Galahad is just the biggest of the bunch. So does that make it mean that he could be more easily hit, or do they just share the same size of hitbox? Good question, but sometimes they don't do that. But the other is they really like to take that into account. Let's have another look around here. I, I just I just do not understand this bit here. We need the shock room to move that platform, but to hit that thing with the shock room, we need to move the platform. So it's the chicken and the egg situation. We can't have one without the other. Hey, hold on, look up. Mm. The, the There's lever a was the floor there. Holding the floor that, where? You see there, but there's a gap in the white floor up there? 
under that's the from the that's oh, from the door. Stopped. That's the same here. Yeah, but yes, the, it looked like there was a gap, but they realized there's a steps on top of there. Right of us was a hole, a hidden hole, at least I thought. So yeah, yeah, I'm confused as well now. I I just completely do not see how we're supposed to get in here because on both sides it is just sealed off and there's no seemingly no way to get in. So let me just look up uh, let's see what is it uh, act 4 restore power the secret hmm. elevator uh of course uh, secret elevator <laughs> Secret lobby, no. Hmm. Maybe if I search. Okay. Restore secret elevator, that's all the suggests uh, mm -hmm. no okay this is just not giving any good answers um hmm I'll just look up a walkthrough and search for the bits that should you know, that'll fit with this. Uh, mm -hmm. No. Okay. Look. Hmm. I, I just do not see at all where we were supposed to be able to get through because this game does not have secret passages leading to other rooms that we know of at least. So where the hell... How the hell are we supposed to get in here when both sides are sealed off? Clearly we're supposed to do something here, but that's just not freaking possible. Or... Wait, I'm... I'm being an idiot, aren't I? There we go. Oh. Yeah, now that makes sense. Okay, without... <laughs> okay, you can't fully blame me since for a bit it's we've only seen platforms that move be, uh, with the uh, with those being activated. There now. What does that do? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Nope. nope. It's... Okay. At least that put us over here instead. That just brings those back up. Okay. Oh, hello. Noble Jeff, is this what your civiliz uh, is this like your civilization? Do you all live in metal caves such as this? This place ain't for living. This is kind of a behind the scenes kind of place. Place for wires, junk. Ah, so the place you live in are much prettier. Oh, well, kind of a tough question. Sometimes yes, sometimes no, which is a bummer. No, with a view on uh, some other concrete buildings, or even brick ones. I see. At least you don't have to go on the ground. Sure. Well, you sort of have you know, to if you use a subway, but if you don't want to, you can just suffer in traffic above ground. <laughs> sea civilization is really great. I think she is. <laughs> I think she has to disagree with you there, Jeff. I'm 
Okay, so these only go up for a short time. Or did I accidentally press the Y button so it got, yeah, so it got recalled? Either way. We're finally past this bullshit. Yeah. Don't even need to fight those stupid things. One thing I will still somewhat complain about is that our just the damage our weapons deal doesn't go up as much as the health of the enemies does. Yeah. I thought by now we should have weapons that probably make short work of the bats at least, but these bats can take hits. At least from that plasma weapon. Knew something was hidden here. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking this way down because uh, then I don't have to go fight uh, those again. I should just land right on top of one. What the heck? Okay, they're not just roaming. If they hit the ground, they just slide after you across the surface. Yes, yeah. you only notice now. Uh, yeah. Yours. There's Hello. the lost helmet. No? Do we have someone that's better jumper? No. Let's see. Okay, I think I see how we can do this. It's too early. supposed to reset now or did I break it? Hmm. Okay, now it's unbroken. Or do these hmm. Okay, I could have had it there. Okay, I'm too late with the double jump. Okay. Too early. Uh. Yeah, we, we want that helmet. Since yeah, this I don't want to helmet. go through all that again. Hmm. Okay, am I just, am I just getting something wrong or such with these that it goes into this spot, or does it? Hmm. Did it? It looks to me like this is a bit being a bit glitchy with these. Okay. Instead of jumping, we're just going to dash past. There we go. That's the last helmet. 
Okay. Oh, well, let's hope that we can get to the generator on two hearts. Oh. Yep. There. Uh, wait, what? 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 Oh. Oh. I see. We have to. We have to swap in midair and throw the chakra. Or let's try it this way. There we go. Okay, check it ahead. Uh. How are you? Hmm. At least we're closer than the, with the other points. Yes, yeah, so it is just one heart, but better to have one heart more than one heart too few. Yeah. Oh dear. Hmm. Actually, we. Not even that much closer compared to this point. Hmm. Okay, we're stopping at that hammock that's closer. Luckily, here we have the shortcut that goes underneath all of that bullcrap. Gobi is gonna throw some food into the machine. Okay. There. Hmm. I just hope we don't run into some sort of mini boss or such without act without finding another hammock that's <laughs> that's closer. Okay. Hmm. Okay, then up here, towards this hammock. There. Okay. <clears throat> Let's refill all of that. And try all of this bullshit again. At least we've got the helmet, so we don't need to waste well, time and health on that again. There. There. Not there. There. Okay. Okay. Something actually moved that thing because there's very clearly like or there's very likely something hidden behind it. Hmm. Yeah, there's a heart piece hidden behind it there. How do we get that to move? Hmm. Or wait, can it be be pushed? Let's at least take a look. <laughs> no, 
can't be pushed. And how are we supposed to move that? Or wait. Does this one move it? Or is there another entrance? Hey Jess, I uh, see you going to be lurking, but hope your day has been good for you both. Uh, pretty good, I'd say. Could definitely be worse. There you go. Uh, hello, hello, yes, and yeah, it has been good so far. There has to be an entrance somewhere. Wait. There we go. Uh, I've so far been doing with the, a lot of summer rain. <laughs> Yeah, it's currently hosing outsides for me. I did that earlier here. And if it is, it's probably gonna be like the last one that had mostly rain and wind and a few heat waves. And yeah, basically, whenever there was actually a sort of summery weather, it was extremely hot. But yeah. If you're gonna be more rainy, I'll be a little bit happy since. Yeah, it, it, more comfortable temperature. There. And there. Okay. And that's one heart cell. Or one fragment of one. Okay. That's one headache less. Okay. There and there. <laughs> Put it back up. Uh, wait, why? Okay. I got got confused for a moment why that one of the pillar that when that pillar was in the way because I thought it was open earlier. Also. Completely unnecessary combat. So going to avoid that. Yeah, maybe these guys are supposed to be annoying with just how much health they have and such, but the fact that the shots track after they land is a bit much for me if you'd yeah, well, if you'd ask me. Yeah, same. I, I, I'm fine with homing shots in the air, but after they land, just leave them, let them fucking splatter there. Yeah, they go from. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Uh, they they go from homing to tracking. <clears throat> if you can such call it fun, that. Yeah, such foul, foul odors down here. Quite nasty, unnatural. Yeah, that's garbage, kid. Kind of the calling card for modern civilization. Garbage. I do not know this word, Noble Jeff. Oh, you know, trash, gunk, waste, <laughs> crapula. Crapola? Kid, I'm talking about all the stuff you throw away. Broken, used stuff. A typo? Ah. When something is broken, we fix it. When something can't be fixed, we repurpose it. Right, but what about, uh, like, uh, fish bones? Fish bones are great for making needles. Is Fair play. Three? Sounds like you've got a real waste of, you know, <laughs> waste efficient operation here. Don't your people live the same? <laughs> no, no, we love making garbage. We build real big towers, highways that span from coast to coast, but lots and lots of garbage. Civilization? It must really smell like crapula. Now you're getting it, kid. Yeah, you probably don't want to move over to Detroit or anywhere else, really. Oh dear. Yeah, as it... In old times, we did try to be repurposed as much things as possible. And yeah, yeah some fish bones were good as needles. Uh, very, much, very, very likely early needles to begin with. Or alternative. But, yeah. I don't feel we are trying to go back to those routes, like with the uh, recycling and all that. And that's been ever trying to make more things 
make things more out of more recyclable material and even recycle technology. There. But it's not easy. Yeah. There. Okay. How are we supposed to make that jump? And that's our last go. Okay, let's see. Is there we go. Have you only now notice that she's been using a knife when clinging to walls? Yeah, I, I thought she was just using her hand like the others. No, there's so they much are going on. It's they're all like using a knife nice. to cling. Oh. But can you believe me, but there's usually so much else going on on the screen. Okay, let's see. Okay, this one moves slowly. Okay. The moment we swap away, that starts moving. Damn it. Oh, that was Probably not too rest. late by now. Yep. Okay. So, a three person action here. Okay, put that there. Then we rush back with Galahad, switch to Shuri. Or Shura. Bleh. Shuri is another character from another franchise. Okay. Okay, that wasn't fast enough. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we could try jumping off the second node here. Switch to Shuri and then... Sure, Rob, why, why do I have Shuri on the mind? <laughs> it's Black Panther. That's too late already. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, having the spikes here is a bit unnecessary if you ask me. Yeah, that, that... This is just wasting health and time. Yeah, it, a bit of overkill. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Unless Creed is utilizing some sort of space age moon dust power source. <laughs> Where the hell did you even get that idea, Jeff? Uh, bloody heck. All right, at that time, we had alternative ways to cooking food without gas. Moon dust? That doesn't sound all that good. Back to the lift. Uh, one thing that is definitely cooked is Jeff's brain. I pretty sure we all knew that. Yeah, it's cooked, grilled. And just flambé to be extra sure. And exploded! I gotta check on my food. Okay. Other way around here. Actually, no. Shortcuts. No, actually, no, that only works from the other way. Since there's no totem. Since there's only one totem, but there's no totem to get back on the elevator here. Okay. Yeah. Going to need to stop off at the hammock. Come on. 
<laughs> okay, that worked on the rebound. Okay. Save and heal. Okay. We're just gonna fight our way back through here. I'm just going to avoid the toxic troopers where possible, because they're just a nuisance. There probably is something hidden on the opposite side of the room, but I'm not in too much of a mood to go looking for it. Hmm. We can at least take a look. A battery. Oh, I see. No, you don't. Okay, so Galahad has a limited range with that. That opens that. But... Hmm. I should have expected something to drop out of that. Okay, those things can attack. And then... Welcome back. Break two. I guess you can call them kebab burgers. Chicken kebab burgers. Okay. I thought I wanted something a bit more than just two sausages in up here. Eh, just bonk ourselves in the head with that thing. There. Oh, see a mess I forgot to read earlier? From the yes, it pissed it down earlier for me, this you says. I guess I meant to wear earlier. Yeah. Yeah, and that's another energy and cell complete. Ooh. And yeah, that's all the goodies in here. Okay, I thought it was going to be more annoying to get what to get that. Get out of here. Huh. Yeah, the, these toxic troopers, I I really do not like them. So far, I'd say they're probably my least favorite of the enemy types. Same beside the bats. Yep. The bats take second place behind the troopers. It, you can see how long those things track in the air. And then they, yeah. try, they they continue to try going after you after they land. Just, just too much. Have one or the other, or give them half health, because it takes like a full clip with this thing to take them out. And this is supposed to be stronger than the main gun, or just the original gun. Okay. Passage to the Volcano Mecha Yacht. Okay. Oh. Okay. Upgraded versions of these. Okay, that. <laughs> I hope I expected it, uh, but I get one to almost blow himself up. Yeah, there's no friendly fire among the enemies, sadly enough, as funny as that would have been. How are we supposed to... Oh, over here. Okay. 
Okay, something just went past the house and made this weird noise with the engine. Yep. Okay, at least we're facing enemies that aren't, that don't take a full clip anymore. So that'll be a relief. Yeah. The, <clears throat> I would not be surprised in case that we haven't gotten enough upgrades to deal with these. Yeah. I'm guessing there is going to be at least one of these that just plain up upgrades the amount of damage dealt. But we first need to find that. Uh, hmm. Okay, why is there a pushable block here? Is there something that needs to be weighed down here or something? Or... Oh, I see. We can use that oh. to jump up high enough to get to that uh, to that kit. Okay. Can't push it any further than that. And there we go. Okay. <laughs> Clever enough. Yeah, there, there was no, there was no way they were just going to put something like that in, in for, yeah, just randomly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. That's a new um, enemy. Hmm. And they even appear on a poster. They have two different types of shots. Nope. No, three different types of shots. Okay. Heal up. Uh, okay. Guessing we need to bring those things to some places or something, or maybe use them to blow up specific barriers. Hmm. Maybe. <clears throat> okay, we can't travel up along that because there's already a path on it or platform on it. Hmm. Okay, you are not able to stand on it. Hmm. Oop. Can we? Now, we can't get out of that quickly enough, it seems. Hmm. Oh, come on! Do we need to bring that one um, orb to the other one there? I just realized what that guy up there shoots. It's the it's same as the other. Lightning. Oh, see, they, okay. They are... so, oh, so one. They, they they have three different shots: green, blue, and red. The green ones seem to bounce. The blue ones are electric. Yeah, bounce. Yeah, that's it's not cracking. It's just shot. Okay, that one bounces more. And what's the difference between red and green? Can the red split up? Where the blue is as 
Are they supposed to be more dangerous versions of the ones in the sewers? Mm. Now they, they don't track as much. I can move this. I can move this. There we go. Yeah, if if they don't get to one of the stops before they run out, before they re go past uh, Galahad's Reach, they will just do. Yeah, they'll just move back to the previous one. Okay. I think I know what to do here. Hmm. Almost. Need to walk off and double jump in the air and then grapple. Hmm. There's very clearly something that we need to do here. Get to that lever so we can head out to the left side. Hmm. Yep. Really? Okay, let's check around here a bit more then. Got nowhere to go here, but we can go here. Of one of these orbs. Uh, and a hammock. Yeah, we really need that before we continue pissing around with the fans. Fans? <laughs> with the uh, saw blades. Okay, Creed's Fortress. Are there also fans over there. <sighs> yep. Okay. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, One of the flowers. Flower. Hmm. Oh, what fans? Bio lamp. It takes almost a full clip to deal with these guys. I wouldn't have noticed that that it soon if it wasn't for the missile passing through. Reads research notebook, entry number 430. I'm shackled by the limitations of modern man. Here I am staring at the freshly inked designs of my dream death robot only to discover that there is no known power source large enough, powerful enough, to breathe life into my mechanical champion. This must be how my grandfather felt all those years, burdened by unrealized greatness. Of course, old Gramp was a certified nutbank, jumped ship at the prime of his supervillainy to seek out a fabled fantasy land deep below the sea, while in search of a mythical object of unlimited power. Unlimited power? Stop it, Creed. Don't go following Gramp's footsteps, chasing after fairy dust. The Atlantean core. Huh. Please. Unless... Maybe I'll pull out his old notes, just to see. Okay, so that's why he's here. <laughs> But, but that's why he set all of this up. Because his grandfather was looking for this stuff earlier as well. Okay, hip, hip. Uh -oh. okay, hello, minion from Mega Minds. The heck? And then the stupid thing gets out. It's okay. Anything you didn't need? No. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. These are some dumb hits that I'm taking. A lot of dumb hits. Actually, there. Just freaking shotgun the guy. Okay. Safe drop. Activate these platforms so we can go over here. Oh, wait. Oh. Is that supposed to be a camera or a wine glass stuck to the ceiling? I think a camera? Question mark? Head crabs. <laughs> well, that's at least the second Half Life reference that we've been able to identify. Okay, now Wait, where do we get one? crowbar? You're gonna see every crowbar in every game as a reference to Half-Life? No, but most of them are. It is the iconic... Well, yeah, that and the uh, gravity gun are the iconic Half-Life weapons. There. Hmm. Let's try it again. Is that supposed to be some sort of mutant fungus or some sort of alien? Because that looks like it's holding blasters. What the heck? Also, there, shortcut. Let's see, Marco. I'm gonna lurk and read a book. If you wonder what book it is, which I highly doubt you are, it's Dead Nature by Joy Fielding. Can't say I've heard of that one. So, really, no interaction points with this? Hmm. Cyber Lab and another hammock nearby. Here. Oh, hello, teleportation. Uh, oh, right. Notebook 643. My, my, that thing from the jungle is so ferocious. It ate, at the la it ate all the lab assistants I sent to probe it. Just gobbled them up. What a cutie. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected a plant-based life form to be so predatory. But that's why we love science, isn't it? That brilliant, that brilliant thrill of discovery. Transporting it into the bio lab was well worth the effort. Now we can study it to death. I'm sure repl 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 replicating those jagged thorns and the amazing growth potential will pay off. Note to self, train more lab assistants. Maybe do a cost-benefit anal analysis on giving them some armor. <laughs> Why not? Might as well uh, learn how quickly the plant chews its way through Kevlar. <laughs> Bad spot. Wait, is that thing shielded? It might be! What the heck? Okay, this needs... This needs a few shots to pop it. I probably should be using Shura more for combat since, well, big freaking burn laser. Okay, shortcuts. 
there. Nope. Almost jumped into that one. Okay, their shield regenerates after a bit. During... Okay, they, they'll actually try to retreat when their shield is down. Nice little detail. There. Oh, so that's... That can be broken by Galahad up there. Hello, new guy. New shield guy. Okay, th this one basically mixes the shield guys with the uh, bigger... Oop, I need that. Oh, the and a bigger version. Okay, at least this one looks to be more a mini boss than a full boss. Even though it's still kicking my ass. Careful of those mines. They will dash towards me. Okay, bit of a dick move to put one of these right before a safe point. But at least we're close by with this one. Okay. Careful with that. And at least now we have some shortcuts open. Hmm. I probably should have swapped out for one of the modules. <laughs> Go. Oh, I should remember that random pack. Who? It's actually related to Pokemon. I kind of got to know why Atch never aged. Mm, that's why that. All episodes, all the damn episodes and series took place in the one same year. I suppose, though, I find it very doubtful because I'm pretty sure there's more. Yeah, there's more episodes than there are days in a. <laughs> there are many more episodes than there are days in a year. Yeah. And so unless years there in the Pokemon universe are like a thousand <laughs> days or something, that's I find that doubtful. Yeah, but at the same time, storytelling has never been Pokemon strong. So like they're not bad at it, but there are other people, other games that are storytelling better. But yeah, I think we can agree there has been times with a couple of shoes. A very la lazy reason. I just make it weirder. There. Okay, now the big boy. Putting out the mines. Mm. 
It's a perfect moment to just zap him for a bit, good bit. Hmm. Yeah, out of energy. Bit hard to just throw a mini boss at us now in one of the latter half, somewhere in the latter half of the game, instead of doing stuff like this earlier. There we go. Mola. Okay. Now where's that? Okay, up there. Wait. Hmm. Wait. Okay, I hope the hammock is here, otherwise I feel those signs are a trap. Which would be hey, weird. is in the other room there. There. Oop, oop, oop. Ah, come on! Yeah, we can only dash once before we need to hit a wall or ground before we can dash again. There we go. Okay, Galahad. Got no energy. Okay, we can just refill that here. And there's the actual plant. Oop. Okay, shortcuts. Hmm. Now, how do we get in there, then? Only through a teleporter, but where is the other half, then? Up. Or like that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, how many do we have? Just the one, I think, now. I think we need oh. three. Hmm. Okay, break that. There. Okay. Now then. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Good that I checked. So that's now open. So if we need to come in from the other side, we can. Okay. The trick with those far, so far, I'd say, is to jump when they fire the first shot. Then you're, uh, then they're likely to miss with the second shot as well. Oh, also, really, what is it? fish with dinosaur armadillo? Okay. Hmm. We're seeing the armadillos and the. Oh no. Okay, now it's getting more tricky with these. There. Open that. And hello! Another rune stone. Okay. Um I think the rune stone was for her outfit. special oh, armor. That, yeah, that is for her outfit. I thought that's 
<clears throat> these, uh, yeah, core fragments. Okay. Yeah, those are for the special weapons. Hmm. Hello. It cannot be the Warden of Thorns. What kind of king would give a dastardly looking plot like that such an honored title? That's no plant, it's a demon. One that long ago tried to claim our island by spreading its thorns from beach to peak. But as the legend goes, the warden was vanquished by a holy sentinel, my great grandfather. I ain't calling your great granddaddy a liar, but he might have mixed up some vital details when he told that legend. He never spoke a word of it because he never returned to tell it. That explains. But when the thorns retreated back into the jungle, they believed my great grandfather's mission was successful no matter the cost. I'm sure it was Vortex, but Creed has tarnished this legend and awoken this nightmare once more. Then it is our duty. My duty to set things straight. Okay, it's officially personal now. And we're not in a good spot to really. Ooh. Okay, it sends a little jackasses. Wait, do we need. Hmm. Okay, what is what is with the generators on the sides? Hmm. Yeah, I'm confused as well. Yeah, I, I thought this was supposed to mark some sort of giant some sort of generator, but no, it's the freaking plant. Okay, let's try and get to it without getting hurt. Also, let's actually swap out the modules a bit so it's better suited for combat. Great. Okay. Re go faster with it. Burning damage. Uh, might want to grab that as well. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh there and there okay that's probably as good as we're going to get for combat now we just got to get there on the harms which is going to be a challenge Yay. all on its own <laughs> there Oops. yeah before next stream you definitely need to uh, explore the older areas for more upgrades yeah. Okay. Anything this way oh, besides the bug? Okay. This is how we're supposed normal yeah, supposed to normally travel up here. I just had to go the the long way around. Okay, okay I did not expect that to actually open. Really? Another one? Well, it would make sense that he put some <laughs> some strong stuff in his fortress to guard it. At least I hope he doesn't use the stupid mines this time. I think I jinxed that one. Yeah, you did. Yeah, we're going to need to head back to the hammock after this. There we go. What's over here? 
Inner Sanctum. Okay. There's one of those fragments. Hmm. Galahad. Okay. Yep. There. Yep. Almost threw it over for myself there. Uh. Okay, just get to the teleporter. Oh. I thought, so, I thought that was a lamb. Okay, Vortex. There we go. And that makes two. Zero battle fra core fragments. Okay. There. I will probably want at least one of those weapons before... <clears throat> before the end of the game. So is there an, there's no exit points that I saw here. Uh, let's check again. That looks like something on the far end. Okay, at least it was generous enough to put... Uh, to put us there instead of all the way back. This is all just a sealed off little area just for this puzzle. But not really puzzle. Uh. Okay, vortex. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get out of here. And uh, yeah. Oops. yeah, come on. Okay, just need to head back to the hammock again. Yeah, a bit of an unpleasant surprise to just have suddenly have a, the mini boss dropped on us again. Also, I'm not going through that again. Yeah. It would be nice if they gave you some better rewards. Like, sure, the money and all the ammo they give is nice, but... It'd be nice if they gave us some of the actual upgrades as well. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, let me do a quick little look here. To see if there is actually some way to just get more weapon damage that we've been completely missing. Uh, blast brigades. Damage up. It's... <laughs> no, not, not saying much on that. Yeah, this game seems to have gone a bit under the radar, so it... There's just a bunch of... Yeah, there's, there's not as much coverage as with other games like Castlevania and such. Ooh, and let's be honest. I don't mean anything ill about this, but there are many Metroidvania indie games. Yeah. So it is easy to it. get lost in the crowd. Exactly that. Like, it's nothing wrong with it. Just, as Hill said, easy to get lost among the crowd. Is there a reason? There has to be some sort of reason for... Actually, that's prob... It has four of those things around its neck, so I'm guessing... No, it's not active yet. I'm guessing we're going to have to lock it down or something. Love the heck the green it's doing. Yeah. 
Is it supposed to be a reference to Head Shop of Horror or something? Maybe, also. Oh no, we probably should post to do that. Okay, so we can try to pin us in with that as well. Uh, yeah, it looks like it is just playing pyrokinetic as well with those explosions of something that it creates. That's easy enough to escape. With that, we just need to stay out of the way, both of the explosion and the toxic breath. Spikes, we can just run around. I think it's going. I think it will do the laser thing. Oh. Ah, not that one, but the, with all four of them. That's probably going to be marking out whenever it's uh, moving into a nec the next phase. Don't think we'll make it this time, but we know it moves now. Probably use this shotgun to get rid of the small fries. Yeah, I should not have stopped running. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Just need to get over there. Not untouched now. There. There. Buzz off. Okay. Oh, that buzzing sound. Uh it was turning my oddy ear and made me think that was actually was a fly next to my ear. At least this thing has a massive hitbox. Yet very easy to burn. Oop, just in time with that. Actually, I probably could have equipped that, uh... I probably should have equipped the, the module that gives uh, energy whenever I, we take damage. Possibly. Yeah, that has helped a ton in previous boss fights. Maybe even that special one for the laser? It's already equipped. Oh. Really, the small. See, 
that's half of them. Okay. Ooh. Almost missed the jump. Not Galahad. Galahad is of little use here. Okay, as long as we're moving, we can easily get out of that one. Shitty ass. Just in time to not get hit by that. Oh, here we go. Ow. Okay, that was unnecessary damage. There. The, the flashing on this thing is a little bit much, I do have to say. Yeah. A, bit, a little bit too much uh, too much old school. Nope, that's new. Are those thorns coming out of the wall? Yeah, they, it fires it into the wall, and then they come flying towards us. Is there a way to lessen that flashing? Uh, no. Oh, it's doing that twice in a row now. Are those... Are those little giant casters coming from the explosion? Uh, oh, that's... Okay, at least it doesn't... It isn't doing any other attacks during this. I stand corrected. Okay, it doesn't do any attacks during the first bit of that. Nice. Uh, okay, question. Hmm? Do we have a bike nearby? Hmm. Uh, there's one over here, but we don't have anything to upgrade. But do we have anything to uh -huh. buy, buy coin? Uh, let's see. 
We have a thousand coins, eleven hundred if we went back. And yeah, still that beacon up there. How much? No, not enough. Plus we do yep, we do have enough for that. But okay, if we have one spot open for the next heart, I'll go grab that. But other than that, I think you're sold out. Yeah. And yeah, can't afford these. Hmm. We can afford them, but are they useful enough? Yeah, I, I want a rocket launcher. That's the other... Ah. The modules are not what we need right now, I think. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, again, would be nice if we had statistics on these, on how much damage they do and such. Yeah, I presume overall they deal the same amount-ish, but just with different range, different firing rate and such. Hmm. And yeah, I think still this, the basic boomstick is better than either of these. Yeah, this is weird. Hmm. Let's at least give this thing a try. You got anything to say? No. Hmm. Okay. There, there. Easy enough to get through. Just ignore minion over here. Yes. I know. I know that there was supposed to have been. Yeah, there's supposed to be a uh, Mega Mind two now, but from all I've heard, people do not like it at all. Mega Mind is in the movie. Yeah. Or Mega Mind, yeah, a, a second Mega Mind movie. So Mega Mind Two. Yeah, I know the first one was good, but I was only there was a second one. And I'm going to presume that people are going to uh, act as if there is not, there isn't a second one. That flashing is a bit much even for me with this thing. And then again, the game does have a uh, photo sensitivity warning at the start of it. I got get myself a bit more to drink. That was just dumb hits. Wait, that... Okay, the lasers deal double damage, really? Nope, not that way, Vortex. Okay, having them deal double damage is a surefire way to make you go, let's not touch that, but still. Okay. So they respawn here. Uh, uh, how much would it was for the rocket launcher by that way? Fourteen hundred. Uh... So yeah, we're not getting it with this boss unless we go away and just go grind.
Yeah, I... I could just be maybe 100 coin more. Maybe we could done it, but... No. Not for that amount. That does a little bit much to grind for... in midstream. Okay, that was me. I should not have gone that way because that was a very clear rock and a hard place situation. Either get caught in the explosion or the toxic breath. Nope. chunk of its health gone again. Nope. Okay, I'm pretty sure none of them touched me there. This thing really does not seem to deal that much more damage than the other shotgun, and it has less range as well. Yeah, the other question, what, what, what is it used for then? Yeah. Like, you think it almost spread, but... It, it's supposed. It says to have piercing, but yeah, we're not getting much with how short of a range it has. Okay. No, not Galahad. Yes, it is good against those moments where they have flying in this tightly packed. But that's a very, very niche moment. Yeah. I think I'll. I think I'll go as far as to say that the double barrel shotgun in this game is absolutely worthless compared to just this thing. This is a shame, for it's almost a unwritten rule to not mess up that kind of gun. Yeah. It's like, let me see if there's a guide on Steam that says what the strengths and weaknesses of each of these is supposed to be. Brigades. Uh, da, da, da. Weapons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There really is just very little coverage of this game in general. Hmm. I get the feeling it probably didn't really sell too well. Um, it's not discussions, guides, anything on weapons here? Okay, why are, why are all of these in Russian? Or some sort of Eastern European language or alphabet that I can't read. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, do those things explode or something when they get near? Because I'm pretty sure they haven't actually touched me each time I've taken damage from them. Maybe? There's so much going on. I have actually been trying to keep track of them for... They seem to just appear from thin air. Yeah, they, they, I think they come from the explosion that it creates every so often. Oh. Uh. What? Why the hell did I get teleported there? Wait, what? Uh. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that. The further we're getting into the game, the further the wires are coming apart a bit. If they weren't able, to, you know, that they possibly weren't able to put in as much effort in these bits as they were in the earlier parts. Possibly. Sure. Uh... It's because it could explain uh, the patch number. Like, they, but they obviously probably have did try to make it bumpy as possible. By the way, I have uh, enough time to adjust the balance. <laughs> laser set to evaporate. Kill five enemies with one laser. go. Focus those things down. Uh, uh. There. How oh, this fight... Reminds me of the first boss in Starbound. Yeah, did you have to circle around that thing as well? Yeah, and I... I really don't like that boss, but... Yeah, I can, uh, you just have to almost cheat in some gear, stronger gear, just to be able to do it. I it's like just, it's just that that boss is, has too much... Uh, is, has too much health compared to how much damage you can deal at the time there. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I'm... How did I get through that without getting hit by the explosion? Because I'm pretty sure I was in the middle of that. Quickly. Oop. Okay, yeah, they're all coming from the explosions. Hit me there. It's like the small fries just sometimes have a bigger hitbox or something. Okay, I think we're going to hit the next phase soon enough.
Okay, that should be about 50%. Or is it going to do it at 30-ish? There we go. Again, what hit me there? Those things seem to have some sort of absurd... Come on. Okay, there... Maybe it is just me, but there seems to be something off with the hitboxes and those little shitty you know, flies or whatever. Yeah. That distracts me, then. Gets me hit by the bigger attacks. Ugh. If the if the double barrel shotgun really does pierce through attacks and you know, pierce through enemies, then maybe it would be good for getting rid of the little ads. Yeah, for they might be the only ones I feel like uh, it might be good against or rare few. But yeah, it does make the damn shotgun extremely niche. Burn through its health. Probably going to do that a lot faster in the last phase. Yeah. on death or something, that they get too close that I can't kill them without getting hurt myself. It could be. I, do. Hmm. I, I think I can see a bit of a bubble appear around them. No, you don't. Nope. Save that. It heals three hearts now, not two. Yep. Okay, I did not spot the explosion brewing there. At least the I damage of it isn't as big, isn't as big as the fart cloud that it makes. There, get rid of all of them. Okay. Yep. Okay, this would be a lot more doable if it didn't have this shitty ad spawning in. Yeah. 
I, I can deal you. with it speeding up. Yeah, heal. heal. There you go. Ah. Okay. Now we're going to get a warning for explosions. Jump right into that one. Hello, Cookie. How are you doing today? And yeah, no, this is Hello, not please. Ninja. Mm. Okay, let's try the double barrel. If it actually can pierce, it should be able to get rid of the little ants in one shot. Yeah. How are you doing, Cookie? Uh, they oh, all we're done. <laughs> uh, you do. Yeah, getting Mind frustrated you're... with this stupid boss. Yeah, same here. And I'm not the one playing it. But I mean, I start to note that there's something off uh, with the boss. Come on! I don't even know where I was telling. Mm. Yeah. Now I'm just getting to starting to get frustrated to the point where it's making me play worse. Huh? Uh, let's see. Cookie, am I right? Not happy, not mad, just neutral. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's give this one more try. And yeah, after that, I think it'd probably be best to just call it then. Ugh. Off stream, I'll just go look for <clears throat> any upgrades that we missed. Yeah, for I would you know, like there's a point where it will be hard to like, continue playing due to frustration. Let's see. Okay, I, I think they do pop when they die, so that makes that makes the double barrel shotgun worthless against them because we need to wait for them to get close to be able to use it effectively. Yeah, just what the heck? Like the overall design for this thing and its attacks is good, but they just mix together in such an infuriating way that it's not fun to fight. Like one thing that I think would massively help already would be if the little shitty ads didn't cause AoE damage when they pop. Yeah, I full agreement with you there. Then we can actually use the shotguns against them. There. Burn this stupid plan down.
at least the uh, yeah, at least the damaging part of the big explosion is smaller than it looks. Quickly. Down. Things are going better. Well, as I almost jump into that. Uh. No. go burn this stupid thing heal up with those little assholes as fast as possible. it's not speeding up with those attacks. A bit more. Spikes. Get rid of these. There we go. Burn this fucker down. Ooh. And <laughs> beat, finally, beat me, Jeff. This yep. legend is put to rest for good. For being wondering, I went silent to not add to uh, destruction. Ah. Uh, okay. I need to stretch my arms after that one. <laughs> I was yeah, clamping I... my controller quite a bit. Uh, that something in its mouth. Yeah. Ugh. Also, yes, I'm. <laughs> the achievement was a reference to Little Shop of Horrors. Ugh. 
And yeah, as Cookie says, <laughs> and Vortex says, finally. Whew, I swear, ain't nobody back home gonna believe the diverse cast of ass that I've been kicking on this island. Uh, I'm pretty sure plants don't have asses for you to kick anyways, Jeff, so you can kind of discount that one immediately. <laughs> Is that great-grandfather? I... I see. The Warden of Thorns survived their legendary clash by absorbing my great-grandfather, beating off of him for all this time. Gnarly. Gnarly. Sorry to hear it, Sorry kid. Hear it, kid. <laughs> Don't be. My great-grandfather reduced the Warden of Thorns to nothing, an infant sucking on a bottle. He saved our island and gave his life for his people. That's one fine holy sentinel, if you ask me. <laughs> really? That's how you say... <laughs> he says it normally, but why just all the extra E's? Uh... I think that might be wrongly written in then in accent. Rest in peace, great grandfather. Your sacred weapon will return to the tribe. Mm -hmm. Now, I still have some anger that would best be taken out on a giant robot or two. Shall we, as Jeff says, kick some ass? <laughs> oh, gotta love gotta teenage love rage. rage. Let's go find you some asses, find you kid. Some asses, kid. Ooh. Vengeful Chakram. Vortex can throw a Chakram that deals damage to any enemy it touches. The Chakram can also ricochet to strike up to four enemies. Okay, so that's her energy ability. Yeah, uh, I think I start to notice a pattern here that is concerning. Hmm. Yeah, all of them have uh, both of their abilities and Jeff still doesn't. Oh, that too, but here's the thing. Very good voice acting. The game goes, looks gorgeous. We have very little bugs. We've seen two typos so far. It does sli seem slightly balanced, but it seems like it worked out a lot of bugs before publishing it. But due to it went on the radar, I think a lot of the money went to the voice acting <laughs> and for the polishing. And no cookie, they are only Vortex here is a teenager. The others are full adults. Okay, there's something this way. Hello. Uh, it, as you said, it is a bit Voice acting is not cheap. Like, the more affordable voice acting sh sh actors, sure, but it's still pricey. And your first game having these good voice actors? is kind of gamble. Yeah, and voice actors are paid ahead of time, not afterwards, so... Yeah, but, but hmm. the this thing, when you make a game, you pay ahead of time for the voice actors, yes. But you still need, you need to be careful with the money you have before releasing the game. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Entry log number 600. What a day. Have the official kickoff for the giant death robot project. So my giant killer robot will be so deadly and so giant. With the Atlantean core powering it, those posers in the Deviant League are going to know who's top dog on this planet. Also, we'll probably conquer the world. It'd just be a waste of gi giant robot to not do it. <laughs> yeah, that's a point. Yeah. But yeah, as I said, there has been games that almost crushed and burned due to they spent almost all the money too quickly in uh, in the early development. Yeah. This is not a good thing to do. Yeah, I, I, I can actually think of one other... Okay, so the red ones will bounce more or something? Uh, whatever. Uh, there was a there was a new game released recently, uh, free-to-play MO-ish. Uh, the first Descendant. I've played it for a bit and it is perfectly functional and all, but it is very clear to me that nearly all of the budget went towards the graphics because, well, the sound design, the voice acting, and the gameplay are all below standard if you ask me. Oh, oh you can teleport. Oh dear. But yeah. I 
it, as you can see, I see it, it say this that uh, they did go with the risk with this quality voice acting for their first game. For yeah. the, we don't know what the starting budget was. If it was the, the, his thing. Some games can survive these things, but well, if they go into early access, or then they get the feedback and they get money to help out the process. But if this game did not have early access, yeah. That means you need to make sure the game will be good enough to pay for itself and more. Yeah. They kind of need to make the money back that they spent on it and need to have budget for the next game. Yeah. It's, it's definitely the thing that makes the gun under the radar dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, we can look up later if the company's still around and all that. Uh, okay, where is... Ah, that's why. Okay. There. Okay. Two exits or more entry points. Okay. Ah, this is going to go to the mag yard then. Hey, Kate, can you tell me a bit about that volcano? Oh, uh, the Angry Mountain. We don't really go there. Really? Why? It, it spews fire and makes Earth tremble. <laughs> Kid, are you afraid of a little volcano? I'm not. I'm not afraid of anything, you... You big dummy. Big dummy? Where did Noble Jeff go? Don't you start with that big dummy stuff. Kid, do you hear me? I'm going to kill Uruku. Kill him. <laughs> <gasps> then he'll be Uruku the dead. <gasps> okay. Volcano mech yards. Uh, better, I'm saying, Cookie. Feeling better now. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm not annoyed as all hell by the boss. Like, in part of this, because I am just getting distracted by trying to commentate and all. But, yeah, still, it was very Great. doable with a good few rounds of practice. Yeah, do I feel, do I feel like it's probably good to have the habit of it. Whenever we have a more tough boss, we definitely go more quiet. Yeah. Let's check out... Okay, that deals a good amount of damage. Hmm. Wait, did it even use energy? Yes, it did. Okay. Did it that one must have just dropped some energy to refill the bit we spent. Uh, it, it did uh, drop energy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, on, the, on their own, these little elite guys are pretty easy to deal with. You just gotta jump their first shot. You'll fall underneath the second. And then jump the third. Nope. Oh. Okay, we're we're playing around with more stuff in the foreground. Okay, that opens that. Mm, okay, just the shortcuts. Okay, that's actually that's actually pretty cute that we're just in the head of the thing. Okay. Mmm, a big red button. Jefferson. Uh -oh. I wasn't gonna press it. I know that would be real bad. But hear me out. It could also be rad. We're here to blow up this robo dweeb, and big red buttons always lead to stuff getting blown up. I I hate to say it, but the logic is sound. Go crazy. I'm screenshotting that. Oh, 
you're kidding me. Only time I get the okay to press a big red button and it's a dud? Oh! Even I'm surprised. I mean, it's a big red button after all. Perhaps we have a puzzle to solve here. Eden is confounding puzzles! We're spies, not surgeons of the brain! <laughs> okay. I noticed a big red five in the background there. Target the one I want, please. There. Okay, so we need to find those numbers, line these up with it, and then, well, whatever happens, happens. Hopefully a big boom. <laughs> Hopefully a big boom. Four. There's a green one. Uh... Where did you see a blue four? Uh, down. Up there. Okay. So blue four, green one. Okay. Yeah, it also feel like I also miss a lot of things due to I try to, well, observe everything else for any clues. There. <laughs> really, four five one. <laughs> the immersive sim code. <laughs> Red button pressed. Congratulations on solving the self destruction discombobulator. That was easy. What? Damn right, red button pressed. Our brains reign supreme. Self destruction imminent. Please clear the area or be consumed by the impending explosive blaze. And what a glorious blaze it would be. But today ain't my day. Huh? Okay, I was expecting a bigger blast. Wait, is that is that all for this area? Okay, no, there's still stuff to the sides. Uh okay. Okay, yeah, we we messed the place up enough that we can't go back the easy routes. Of course. Hmm. Okay, how do we get up there? Cause... Wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that isn't just a conveyor belt that actually will hurt us if we touch it. Case in point. The heck? We yeah, we know that there's a halt up there. We can't jump high enough to get over that. So maybe... Let's see. Hmm. Don't really have more space for abilities here. Hmm. Or items. Hmm. We'll have to see later. Oops. Oh, hello, hello, General. Yep, yep, it's it's an armchair general. <laughs> okay, though, so that guy will buff enemies nearby, or our enemies, his allies. Hmm. Gonna ignore the back, back chest of gold. We're first going to clear out the enemy, or the area of enemies. There. Let's see. Eh, not enough to get the gun, but it gets us closer. Okay, there's a beacon for Jeff's costume. I wonder if the costumes will have... Oops. Yep, really bouncing shots. Okay, you just... Okay, you play it actually smart and stay behind your shields. Hmm. Okay. At least his shots travel slower. Hmm. 
are we supposed to damage him then if he's just hiding behind the shield constantly? One might say, one say grenade, but... Uh... Yeah, we, we haven't really had too much use of grenades and they kind of special ammo. Yeah. Okay, there's definitely some new ability we're going to get or something in this area because we cannot reach. Oh, hello. Come no closer, comrade. Uh, Shura, this little Federation fella, a friend of yours. Hmm. Alexandra Voron. A surprise. Never thought I would see a member of the infamous Red Devils fighting alongside a fat American fool. You have me mistaken with another countryman. We share a homeland, so I offer you this courtesy. Step aside. Ah, I did not expect such weakness from the likes of you, Alexander. You've become soft in your time with the fat American. I was hoping you'd use that word again. It will only have made him angrier. <laughs> what do you... In the gym at least three times a week! You hear me, little man? <laughs> I am not fat! <laughs> he, he was, he was just <laughs> ranting in Shura's ear the entire time. <laughs> oh, that little uh, Joe? Oh, that's flame. Molten flame. Okay, surprise boss. Yep, yep. Okay, he, he shot that literally out of his ass because he was looking the other way. Uh, yep, damn it. Uh, Shura. Please melt this jackass. Yep, now. Come on. Yep, that was kept. Uh. <laughs> really? Oh, we were. I need all you inside my head right now to know I did not lose my balance because I'm fat. I lost my balance because I'm uncoordinated. <laughs> At least he's honest. Jeff, you oh, must dear. do something. Even your bruised behind cannot survive a fall from such heights. Act quickly. I'm all out of tricks and gadgets. Sometimes, Red, you just gotta believe. Mate, what are you doing? <laughs> Believing. This is not the time. Uh, <laughs> <woo! laughs> if you believe in America, she will believe in you. Give me your sick, your rad, and your wicked freedom, baby. <laughs> um. Bless you, you bountiful bald beauty. Bless you. Uh, I, I think they just confused your ass for an easy meal, Jeff. <laughs> or the hair. If I've ever seen the truth. Jefferson. Jefferson. I, I. Now tell me, could that eagle have been able to carry me if I was fat? Didn't think so. Oh, <laughs> Patriot's Chariot summons an eagle that carries Jeff off the ground for a short time. Okay, finally he gets his mobility ability. Mobility ability. Say that five times fast. Nope. Okay. There we go. Okay, that is going to make getting around some places so much easier. Yeah, oh, look at the money. Yeah, almost to the point where we can get ourselves a freaking rocket launcher. Oh, oh I can't. Yeah. 
Okay, they do... They do disappear the moment we hit something. Okay, that makes three, I think, that we have at the moment. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I probably should be using my combat weapons a lot more, especially when I have the uh, <laughs> taking damage gives energy ability or module equipped. Uh, okay, we can hit the ceiling. Okay, I should have looked, Bear. Uh, <laughs> Cookie, I tried to say it once, but it is di but once is difficult. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, we the eagle can lift four times before they poof. Okay. Uh, being honest, that being Jeff's uh, mobility ability is just dumb enough to fit completely with him. The game's comedy. <laughs> Say what you will about evil geniuses, but they sure know how to build stuff. I mean, such a giant mech yard, all hidden inside of a volcano with production, assembly and engineering all in one place. The scale, the logistics, it's beautiful. I can't wait to blow all of it up. <laughs> um, hello, hammock. Um, bathtub? I don't think that's supposed to be a bathtub. I think that's more supposed to be a table of some sort with coffee cups on it. Or plastic coffee cups. I hope so, otherwise I'd be confused why there would be a bathtub up there. Okay, now we need to get... All the way over there. Aren't we already out of the mech yard now, or do we need to just head the other uh, way with it? I doubt it for it's only 20%. Hmm. 22. Let's, let's check further. And um, I think we can afford now. Uh, yeah. Let's... Uh, for a certain new weapon. Hmm. I don't... Hmm. Are there any openings I'm missing here? Oh, wait. Okay, nice of the game to zoom out. Okay, now we can get around all this. There and there. Or, hmm. it. Also, we now know how to get past that little conveyor belt parts back there. Oh, yeah. There. It's a ultimate weapon. Dear colleagues, as you are no doubt aware, we are building a giant death robot. Be proud. The ultimate weapon of world domination will be built by your time by your timid hands. Be thankful to our generous overlord, Dr. Creed. This is no time to revisit old complaints about trivialities like how hot lava is and how you literally never get any time off, ever, even a second. This is the time to work hard and sacrifice. Glory to Creed. <laughs> and shortcut. <coughs> Actually, speaking of shortcuts, is there one? There's probably something... Uh, oh no, that's from down below. Okay. So we need to work our way around to open that shortcut back to the entrance. 
new person. You feel like the, uh, things will be in a disaster around here without uh, any breaks and all. Oh, it's definitely a disaster so now. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say this. I'm pretty sure the only the only reason the eagle came along and is helping here is because it's it thinks whatever is going to happen will be hilarious. You again? Still no idea of and how I, to get around their armor. And so uh, badge baby. Yeah. Now. Did the temple guy pull out the sword? Thing. What? Yeah, he needs to be hit from the back or something. Yeah, and one of the grenades landed behind him and he just ignored it. I'm not, I think it was just out of range to damage, but still, yeah. Also, Master. Oh, increase the damage of all heroes' combat skills by 30%. Okay. Okay, that's. Uh, that's. Uh, yeah, that's kind of most have. Uh, it, it won't upgrade our weapons, but it'll definitely up the damage by Shura's laser even more. And someone's uh, chakrams. Yeah. And I was going to say the gren this grenade launcher, but then it went way over that guy's head. No, you just completely missed. This okay. must be an event over his head, so yeah, all right. Nope. Okay, shockwaves. Yep. Ow. Okay, so this guy is the one they call when they need heavy engineering done. Ooh, ooh. There and there, and another one of you. Yeah, not even the quote unquote piercing double barrel can pierce that. I should probably, this is right, I should probably ask the others about the movie today again. Yeah. Uh, probably uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2, since, well, we watched the previous, <laughs> the first one last uh, week. Yep. And uh, I gotta guess the uh, same time as last time. Yep. Yeah. And okay, the, the eagle doesn't remain, stick around for a limited amount of flaps, it's just a limited amount of time. Yep. yep. Ow. Yep. Damn it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm hoping there's a hammock nearby. What? Okay, that's going to be a nuisance to get around again. There. I, I like how Jeff just pulls in when the when the bird is about to drop him. It's like, oh crap, oh crap. I missed that and I got it. I got replaced right away. They should be available. Okay. Lovely. And I didn't ping you because, well, well, we, we, we're obvious being shatty already. <laughs> yeah, rather obvious reasons. Okay, it's not that he has a blade, it, it, it's that he has a bayonet on his rifle. Okay, uh, yeah. I, 
I would I would have saw something swing in a stick. That's a sound effect. It has what I said. Did he just swing a sword? Well, I was unsure if it, if it was a. Uh, what the heck he swung, but it sounded like a blade weapon. And it kind of is, just not the one we expected. Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, oh, that's how I... I was wondering, how the heck do you slide upwards with a knife? And realize, oh, Conveyor there's belt. a rail. Conveyor belt, yeah. Yep, yep. Not the way I wanted you to go, Jeff. I was holding left. And that was me pressing the wrong button. This better not be just a chest. Damn it, Jeff. It is better than a chest, sort of. There. There. Okay. One more, then we can get the uh, the yeah, the easy one at the village. Yeah, and there's the one uh, by the robot skull. Or did you already pick it up? No. Uh, but we can get it now that we have uh, Jeff's flight ability. There. Yeah, you're not really worth the effort to fight. Okay. Yeah, maybe that a bit stronger victory it, it would be, but yeah, the coin drops for the amount we had to struggle. No. And I see yeah. the damn fly there. Really? Okay. Press the dash button and then, oh, then towards the wall to cling to it. There. Open that up. Yep. There. Oop. There we go. I like to say that unit concept wise is kind of clever. Yeah, just teleport no. in for a slash and PTFO. Yeah, it's way. And they still have a gun. To shoot from range if needed, but also teleport in for close combat to save ammo. Yeah, or to just get out of close combat if need be as well. Yeah, or other hit and runs. Basically, nice. a very versatile uh, teleporter unit. <laughs> okay. Now we just mm. need to find a damn bike. Or, well, we still want that other heart. Hmm. Can we actually go... Let me actually check if we can get up, yeah, back up to the head easily enough. Then we can grab that other heart yeah, piece. I mm. hope we can. That just leads back to the other side. Wait, Pierce. Wait, no, it can't be. 
Is this a heavy shotgun meant for the shield guys? I just I tried it just earlier and it didn't oh. do anything. Of course. Yeah, then I am. Had it had longer range, it would have been perfect against the last boss uh, minions, but. Yeah. But it does pierce. The range is the issue with the goddamn gun. Yeah. If you're gonna have it pierce in short range, at least allow it to have heavy damage. Yeah, I think it is only like. 50% more damage than the normal shotgun, perhaps. And even that is a bit of a, a big guesstimate. Yeah. At least we now have one more heart upgrade. Yeah, once we get back. Oh, yeah, almost. Right. There. Okay. Let's just take this route back. Yeah, flight tends to be a bit of an overpowered ability, but that is why you generally, well, you always get it towards the end of a game. Yeah, do I have, I think I play games where flight, you feel like, oh, this should be awesome, but only realize it is a one hell of a pain to control. Yeah. <clears throat> so there has been uh, games where you, you're just better off walking on foot than flying. Yeah. And then there's, of course, games where flight is a major part of the whole you know, gameplay and such. I wonder if Fly for Fun is still online, or also known as Flyf, with two Fs at the end. And, well, there's Anthem, which I think is still has its servers online, even if the game is basically dead. Yeah, where, where they managed to screw up making basically Iron Man the video game. Did, did, did it fail twice? Uh, I, it was planned for a, a rework, but that, I, as far as I know, that never came to life. Nope. Oh. Uh. The American. Not dead, I see. Not dead. And I have the puncture wounds from a pair of glorious talons to prove it, little man. The words you have spoken, they make no sense. You have broken brain. <laughs> broken brain? I've got the brain of a metal man, a Ruski spy, and a holy sentinel inside my brain. You are clearly experiencing some sort of diabetic shock. This is good for me. You will be much easier to vanquish. Okay, now the actual boss fights. Oh dear. Oh yeah, I think I heard that they actually did the re-release thingy and it also failed. Yeah, it, it's failed free more. to play now, I believe. Or I think so, but from what I heard, there was supposed to be another rework of some sorts. Yeah. Also, I should get to work with that. Wait, actually, I think they, they actually shut down the service if there's a lost seal or something. Could be, I haven't checked in a long while. It's trying but... to remember what I saw from a video. Okay, okay pretty sure. Okay, I need to... I need to bring out the eagle for this bit. Okay. Hmm. A bit early for another boss, if you ask me, but... We'll see how this goes. It does mean that I'll have to primarily use Jeff, though, to stay above the uh, lava. Hmm. Okay, let's give this guy a few tries. We still have about an hour. Yep. Ow. Have we killed any 
Oh, the shield, guys! Nope. Oh, they... Yeah, well... Yeah, we only kill the regular ones. Uh, I'm only sure what the heck they want you to do against the heavy shields. With his charge, we have just about enough time to jump over him and dash towards up the safe ground. Out of ammo, and it, I was trying to use the laser, but yeah, no energy, no dice. Yeah, and then she was on the wrong side. Mm. Ah, I walked right into that one. Mm. Oh, wrong attack. Luckily, it takes a bit of time before it actually starts to burn. So at least they are generous with that. So no offense, little Joe, but you are more of like a little boss or a mini boss than a full boss compared to the rest. I'm just gonna hide on the table of the <laughs> captain said that. I feel like uh, you may have just jinxed it all. And there we go. Little Joe oh, is me. no more. Uh, a moment, please. You fight well for a chubby American. My respect, friend. You too, my little commie comrade. Oh, maybe you've got a point. Oh, I could probably do with a little more cardio. I get it. The life we live, it can be stressful. No time for gym. Oh, don't even get me started. The agency tracks my hours, but I usually just put my dog on the treadmill. Jeff? <laughs> what? Whoa, hey! <laughs> you know, little man, I should just go on my merry American way. We shared a connection there at the end, and I don't let my boys behind. Sit tight. If minor victory but defeat little Joe. What the heck did you just pick up there? A yeah, recovery orb. The ah. one we've been getting out to re get a refill after the bosses. Let me take oh, yeah, a little check. Nice. Okay, nothing in, uh, nothing around the ceiling. Also, it feels like that Atlantean core should be here. And it's not, so that's going to be a problem. There we go, that makes four, I believe. Nice. Okay. Oh, battery. We want that. 
Okay, easy enough to get. You just need to go back around to where the the elevator here was before. There, and there. Okay. We'll be a bit before we can get another full one, but at least it's a start. Yeah. We, whenever we see these things, we should grab them ASAP. Yeah. And it should probably also be somewhat semi-exploring as we investigate areas. Yeah. Uh, just so we yeah. don't yeah. have... Just to reduce backtracking. Okay. Uh, what is... What do you do? You're spawning a bunch of enemies, it seems. Probably something more, I suspect. There we go. Okay, they'll also open the door here. Wait, There's another you kit. Know, the, uh, uh, have you seen a lot of AI commercials? Uh, personally, I, I don't. Yeah, I, I generally use ad blockers and such, so I don't see too many of those online, at least. Or yeah. Do you mean advertisements for AI or advertisings made by AI or with Four. AI? Four. Yeah. Okay, I have seen some of those pop up on well, mobile apps and such. Yeah. The first one I saw was just products for companies. However, the first product there was a, an actual item you could buy for activities. Do you know what it was? What? A golf club. Really? They have an AI in the head of the golf club, the part you hit with, so it will always adjust perfectly with the ball you hit for always the perfect shot. Um, I just saw... It, it was probably the first AI known program for an actual item. It was a golf club. I just sat there in my bed. I watched YouTube from my bed. From my bed, I just, I, 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 I just had to face palm. Yeah, that that, for one that sounds to us like absolute bullshit. Yeah, that. Uh, but that wasn't one of my first thought. I thought, uh, well, I did that as well. But one uh, of the biggest thought I had was, in that cheating, waste of money, and, and yeah, and cheating. It felt like an extreme way to cheating. Yeah, plus, I, I, I would put money on the fact that that does not even work, because there is absolutely no way that that it could change the way that a swing goes. So that, that is just a scam. Yeah. That uh, or they are, or it's a product they are overconfident with. Uh, you. Careful, out of heels. Let's pause. There are moments where this is plain scam, but then there are moments where the, the inventor of product is so confident that they are too blind to see that it's actually horrible. Delusional. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, typically stuff like that that promises things that are blatantly too good to be true that is just 100 percent a scam meant to yeah. get money from stupid people yeah i think that ad was only around for at least we popped up for me on youtube maybe just one month or two maybe there's a door there that needs to be opened from the other side Hmm. Time and to I, just laser I, everything in sight. I have also seen other AI products now recently, like AI TV, AI phone. Yeah, just just all scam stuff, if you ask me. Detective, oh, hello. That's uh, good timing with this thing. Yeah, about yeah. that. 
it's the big brands that are on AI TV and AI phones, you know, the actual big phone companies and TV companies. Yeah, in that case, they're probably just using it as a, uh, what's the word for it again? Selling point? Uh, no, not... Uh, basically the same as whenever X uh, brand of toothpaste just, you know, or... Uh, shampoo or whatever is talk about some ass, uh, some quote unquote new acid or something or some new miracle component in their formula. It's it's just buzzword. That's the word. They're just using it as a buzzword that basically means absolutely nothing and will or just has no effect at all. And they're just using it as a marketing term to make it sound interesting and new and such. <clears throat> yeah. Ugh. Treats as greasy as they come, but ain't no denying he makes some impressive bots. Right eye. I take we be uh, a comfort in knowing that, even though Creed made me a monster, he's the best in the monster-making business. And I bet he used quality parts. None of that nickel and dime stuff. Unless nickel is good for making cyborgs. Of course, Dr. Creed has pl had plans for me to join his ranks, after all. Spared no expense. Why this cold metal will never be as good as my own flesh. Hey, when this is all over, maybe we can go get it back, or something. Maybe Creed kept it in, like, a bucket somewhere? Now there's an image I did not want in me head. <laughs> oh, oh. Activate every fast travel motorcycle stuff. Okay. Welcome huh. to Jefferson Park? <laughs> Jurassic Park. It still looks like there's space for one more, though. Huh. Probably the final boss area. And that, there is that. There is the area. Let me. Yeah, over here. That looks like it should have another spot. Yeah, and there's that island thing. Oh, tower thingy. Open that up. Okay, so that's our save point. I'll take that. Actually, let's head back to camp. So we can get ourselves a rocket launcher. And some other upgrades. Okay. But, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure even if Creed kept the organic parts around, uh, probably more that he had them mulched or something for biofuel. Ugh. Okay, give me that. And I just realized, yeah, you were able to afford to upgrade the shop there. Yeah, but an extra heart is more valuable in the long term, I'd say. Wait, 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 go back in, go back in, I just realized what you can do. Yep. Oh yeah, we can now we can now fly like an eagle. Oh damn it, Captain! <laughs> no, I have that stuck in my head again. Oh, has Asia had that damn song stuck in my head? Let's get another battery. There you go. Finally. Okay. Now, do we put that there for Master, or do we put that there for... Mm, I say we go for the high tier at the moment. Mm, and yeah, two more to upgrade that to its fullest. And yeah, we would like one <laughs> extra boomy boomstick. Uh, still absolutely not a clue about any of those Creed, uh, Creed faults. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. <laughs> okay. 20 shots. Yep, wrong button. Okay, yeah, this is going to wreak some havoc. <laughs> Okay. Yellow crystal. 
I sort of get the feeling while? like we've seen that somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I think, this... I think in the Screaming Cliffs, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. when the sewers or something. I feel like we saw that that is so one in this episode or something. Unless my memory playing tricks with me. Jeff and the crew escape the death robot's explosion and look for a way to reach the drowned city. Okay, so I guess we're heading to Atlantis. Oh. I think we found a place where it's supposed to be put in once they have retrieved it. Hmm. Yeah, they are still digging around. Hmm. Okay. Now let's see how this thing does against you. Okay. It not not having to deal with too much damage would be bad as well, of course. It's still plenty of damage to take these out with a few shots. Hmm. Yeah, probably you aim properly with it. Well, it's homing, so yeah, technically aiming is a is not a requirement. Okay. Let's not use it too much on just the general moves, though. Okay, let's take a look here. Not entirely on our route. Se sealed vents. Yeah, because you how much time I have remaining, I will not be against what I was semi exploring just for extra upgrades. But let's be honest, this is probably the worst time to enter another boss fight. Yeah. It's multiple oh, paths. Oh dear. Why does this look like a fight? Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, I think you're supposed to fly in there. Maybe. Yep. Yep, too early or too late. Yep, too early that time. What was that all about? Or do we need to just hit a bunch of switches to open up something in the area here? Hmm. Oh yeah, I think that's what's going on. Hmm. What the heck? No, not that way. So lucky I didn't get a hit there. 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 Okay. What is all of this about? Uh, ow. I should have expected that there was something seeing as there were saw blades missing. Is this a full book? Will this be a wood grinder of some kind? Damn it. Okay, there's a pattern to those things. Hmm. There must be something of value behind all of this. Okay, it's, it seems a bit random as to when they go. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that those things should ever be randomized.
But that means it just means the only we think through is luck base. Yeah, it, it there doesn't seem to be a pattern. I was basically going for whichever went last. With, with the thought that well it won't it won't slam that one shot next it, yeah just having it be random is not smart not good design okay There we go. Okay, that's another lever. There we go. Okay. Almost ran into the second set. Hmm. That gets me up. Okay. Tinker Extreme. Oh, increase the damage of all guns by 20%. Yeah, we're taking that. And yeah. Do. I know there's a kit down there as well. Yeah. So so what's it over there? Hmm. There's still more to find here, that's for sure. just bars on the wall and ceiling like that I should just automatically presume that there is or yeah, uh, uh, yeah that there's a crusher there we go nice uh, how many do we now have and that's three left oh it <laughs> spits out one of those hello no sudden mini boss okay and let's see. We now have four. We need one more for the next shop upgrades. We forgot to return the helmet. Yep. Maybe we'll get a kit for that. Yeah. We, we... <clears throat> yeah. We should probably try to return to, to a bike and do that ASAP before we forget it. Yeah. And might as well get it recorded on uh, the video as well. So. There. Yep. There we go. Safest way out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can return back there. Plus, we need to refill our health and everything. <laughs> okay. Horus. Another freaking crusher. Okay, heal up. Power nap done. Yep. Hello, hey, pizza. pizza. How are you doing? Doing pretty good, I'd say. Wait. More flowers. Oh, I think I see how we to do this. Uh, yeah, Jeff can, uh, <laughs> Jeff can call in a pet now. Let's see. Okay. Gotta go the way around. There. Okay. One sentinel's flower. 
That means that there should be one more left in the game for us to find for the final health, uh, for the final flask upgrades. <clears> Hmm. <throat> see Pizza doing good, about to start playing this new game that got released and everybody has been getting well over. Okay, which one? Uh, Zenless Zone Zero. Yeah, I, I've heard of that one. Okay. Uh, what I've seen of it hasn't really interested me that much. Uh, <clears throat> it's another, I believe it's another Hoyoverse game, I uh, think. But it doesn't... I, from what I've saw, seen, it only, it only has co-op on specific things. Uh, right, we were returning the helmets. Not upgrading anything here. So let's head back. Yet. Maybe, maybe it has more co-op than I think it does. Mm -hmm. But I've already got. I'm. I already play uh, Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact, so I think that's enough gotcha for the moment. Maybe I'll try it at some point, though. I like it because humor, funny, and hot men. <laughs> there. Let's not go the low route this time. Actually, the correct way. <clears throat> yes, the last helmet. Number 466. Where have you been? Alright, you were eaten alive, starting at the feet. If it's of any comfort, the corruption would have taken and would have got you sooner or later. <laughs> Corruption, huh? I guess that's what we get for being good little henchmen who volunteer to transport artificial cores. A chance to see the sights of the sewer and a one-time bonus of life-corrupting dark magic, huh? Okay. Anyway, now that everyone's here, it's time for a tea party. Are you forgetting something? Oh yes, the reward. Let me just put the kettle on and I'll fetch it for you. A mighty thanks. As far as hallucinations go, you're the most reliable light. <laughs> I almost believe you're real. <laughs> Mementos, return all four helmets to the Hench Maniac, and Blast Effect. Add shrapnel to grenades, dealing additional damage on the explosion. Okay. Hello. Can we check Hello. this thing out now? That's a big old bot behind you, eh? A robot behind me? He's a tiger, I thought he was with you. Ah, that robot. Nay, he was here long before me. What's he doing all the way down here? Or far more inquisitive than my other hallucination. Be gone. Okay, so oh. is, there is something with this, I think, that we might be able to interact with, but not now. Hmm. Or maybe that is just there as a joke or something. Either way, we got a new skill or new module. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see, maybe... Hmm. I should maybe do a bit of a damage comparison to see what deals more damage now. Let's first... Back to the mech yard. Okay. Thank you. Zoom tight. Uh, thank you. Eagle time. I don't get why does one have to get so loud when sneezing? Or the force behind that as well. Okay, let's see. Now where is that trap? There's that shrapnel one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what would deal more damage now. The, uh. the grenade launcher or the laser? And yeah, just equipping that as well. Hmm. Let's see, two of those cores each. Hmm. And we, we already explored about 75% of the mech yard, it seems. Oop. Nice. Hmm. Just over there, we... Okay, that's where we fell down. I'm presuming that there's something there that we need the eagle flight. Oop. Did that? Okay, that dealt two damage, I think, because the henchman got uh, got buffed by this guy here. Okay. 
Now we just gotta find our way around. Appears we never opened that shortcut over there. Unless we're not in there. Not, yeah, we've not been there yet. Oh. There. Yep. Actually, oh, we, okay, we could have done this earlier, but I forgot. Or missed. I'm not surprised. Yeah. This is the way to progress. Okay. There. Oop. That's an easy chest. Mm -hmm. Fine, fine, Mula. Give me a second. People talking loudly in the hallway. I'd rather not have that on the microphone recording. Okay. Shortcut. Yeah, that, yep. over the years, I actually, the, more, most of the time when people want to talk to me they're by the stairs and such, I actually know it's just, you know, most of the, most of the time I just go downstairs to talk to them instead of shouting. Okay, empty hammer. Yep. What? What hit me there? No idea. Yep. Sent that one the wrong way. Yep, that's not it. I hope they don't bring in those shield guys, but we still haven't killed them yet. Yeah. Yep. Okay. yep. What, the? what the heck is that? The shrapnel is they throw. Uh, they throw a hammer and now they send in a new. No, they, we've seen this one a few times now already. Oh, that was enough kind of attention. I, I killed around a four one. of them. And yeah, they spawned the little ones. Oh. Did the bot just say mommy? Oh, sure, he said something. There we go. Okay, that could have gotten nasty. Uh, okay, sinking platforms. Oop, yep, damn it. Okay. There we go. Nothing else hidden in this area, it seems. Oh, that's pizza. Uh, well, while well, it takes time downloading resources, I'm here. Uh, the only gotcha game I play is Tower of Fantasy, and that game is barely bad. The, de uh, the devs abandoned the game a few months back, so it's more free to play than anything. Yeah, I I tried that for a time when it launched, and it just... It has some nice ideas, but it is... Yeah, thin on the gameplay, I'd say. Not, it's not a bad game, but... Well, when your first, uh, or when the first uh, uh, five star or whatever they call it there in a game is uh, <laughs> is already a spoiler of something that's going to happen in story, then yeah, you're not helping your intrigue. You're not helping <laughs> build intrigue. You're just telling the giving the answer way ahead of time. Uh, like the Tower of Fantasy's version of Wish from Genshin Impact, you can literally get from just exploring the world and finding them outside fla uh, inside flowers. Got like four or six of them in a four, you know, three hours. Yeah, I remember that as well. That is a nice bar part of it, but I am... I don't remember if those were separate from the ones where you could get the, uh, the featured characters, or if that was more like a 
quote unquote standard banner where just the the more or the earlier characters are in or something. It's not a bad game, but there's better options out there. And Cookie is back because they fell asleep. Uh, go take a nap if you need to, but again, don't ignore your don't ignore your homework. Uh, there is solid ground there. 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 Okay. Oh, that one sinks quick. Give me that hammock. There we go. Let's see, pizza. Game got downloaded back. Gotta have it. Yeah, go. Got by worm noises. Uh, homework can wait, yeah, but it will just stack up over time, uh, Cookie. And you are chronically late with it. Or at least from what you've told us. There. Okay, there are no, uh, there are no goodies hidden around here. Uh, bird time. There. Uh, so, uh, they use this stock footage uh, sound. Uh, Regal. Regal. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might be part of the joke. Yeah, but they always use that sound effect for that eagle. And we still learned that that's not an ab a bold eagle sound at all. Yeah, it's like a hawk or something. Uh, no. Wrong direction. Hmm? It's more close to an animal you are very familiar with. At least it proves we've watched the channel a lot. Seagull. <laughs> so the Amer the the American birds sound uh, uh, the most uh, the sound most. Uh, <clears throat> the sound most associated with the American birds is a trash bird. Uh, that's one rude way to say it. <laughs> Let's see. Joe Brothers, my fellow henchmen, recently I've had a lot of questions about how to differentiate between our bosses, the two Joes. I thought that it was pretty obvious, but I guess not. So to recap, Little Joe will break your skull with his fist, Big Joe will shoot your head off. It's obvious when you hear it, right? There's a more uh, there's a more over here about whether you should piss either of them off, and you can probably work it out for yourselves, am I right? <laughs> oh great, we're going to have to deal with a vengeful brother. Uh-oh. So I'm pretty sure little Joe vanished into a <laughs> into a stream of lava. Even though we didn't actually get to see him die. <clears throat> oh, okay. uh, there's something Cookie just wrote, so we surprise you. Yes. Uh, cookie, almost vacation, so everything almost done. Okay. Wait. Well done. Oh. Okay, yeah, I should have noticed that too. earlier. Okay, that's all the loot here. <clears throat> I gotta say that the the internal design of uh, Creed's uh, of Creed's lair kind of reminds me of Evil Genius, but with more orange. Vortex, is it not risky living so close to an active volcano? <clears throat> My people embrace risk. This is our home, Shura. It is our duty to protect it. What? Yeah, that, 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 exp that sound is the vents going off. <clears throat> yes, this I can relate. I think it's radical. If ever the old girl finally erupts, just give Blast a call and I'll come swooping in to save the day. We are not as defenseless as you think, Noble Jeff. Many of our ancestral machinations were made to protect my people when the Fire Mountain rages. 
At least in theory. They are very old. And I can suspect their knowledge of how to uh, properly maintain them is lost. Yeah. No. Oh. There you are, little man. Glad to see you're still upright. Yeah, this is the other Joe, I'm pretty sure. Listen, we got ourselves a dream team in the works. If you can play nice and drop the name calling, we might have a spot for you. Yes, yes, understood. Perhaps we should use our real names. I am Joe. And you may like these. They do call me Little Joe. Okay, so it is the correct one. Little Joe? As in Little Joe and... Ah, uh, Alexandra. Is my name familiar to you? I knew it would be. I'm afraid I must reject your offer, American Dog, for I am already a member of a winning team. <laughs> okay, now it... We usually fight as one. But Big Joe has a taste for showmanship. Okay, now how the hell can, could you confuse these two? Yeah, what I, the I, was, heck? I was I was expecting them to be freaking twins. Yeah. I, I, I guess it's maybe by the names, but it, no, no. If you say yo, then yes, but appearance-wise, no. Okay, maybe they are twins, just not identical ones. But it probably would have been uh, funnier if the little one was called Big Joe and the big one was called Little Joe. <laughs> big Joe loves dramatic entrance. Okay. I'm not big on drama, but I do like action. Let hold me show on, you hold a classic. on. Right. <laughs> that was painfully, obviously a Team Fortress reference to Heavy. <laughs> Okay, oh, now we gotta deal with both of these. Huh. Okay, at least we can zap them both with the laser at once. Okay, oh, yeah. okay little Joe just... Oh. Okay, little Joe just pissed off for a bit. If Okay, I don't think we're going to get past these guys in this stream unless this gets re unless I get really freaking lucky. And we can't shoot those things. You have big gun, I have big gun. Not as big, but still big gun. Yep, there's Joe back. Yep, that's the... Ow, yeah, lava shock, oop. Okay, now there's actual lava pillars involved as well. He's taking a break. Oh. Yeah, we we can't we can't just clamber on the walls. One hit. Yep. Did I get hit by the elevator there? I. Think so? Okay, let's give this one more try. Mm, yes. <clears throat> and after that, if we well, if we don't make it, 
We'll just call it there. Yeah, we, we have done a little progress through today. Let's see. Keeping rats. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll stick with what we have. <clears throat> yeah, we, we got past two bosses. They're technically more mini bosses. Well, that's one boss and uh, two mini bosses. And I, get, I guess you can call the first encounter with Joe a, the second boss. So two mini bosses and two bosses? Maybe. Let's not got too much into the semantics of it. We just made a good amount of progress. It really did. Okay. Give me my money. Okay. And here we go then. Immediately. I can zap them both with the laser. Oh, and Joe's taking off. But one Joe is taking off. <laughs> and... uh, ow. Hello again. Good. Ow. I'll take that. Don't forget to heal. If I can burn both of them at the same time. Yep. There we go. Oop. Uh, and now little Joe pissed off. Uh, uh, really? That was a cheap shot. Heal. Okay, those heat spots are just there permanently now. Lucky I didn't get hit there. The oh, it's found outside. How dramatic. God damn it. Okay, I th I think we can make that. Yeah, I think so too. Do Wait, we just jinxed it, did we? Maybe. We just gotta be a bit more careful getting there. It does look like we may get uh, more money each time we try. Okay. It up. Okay. 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 That's one use of healing already wasted. Okay. 
Okay. Hello again. Those. Okay, Big Joe is almost done. Out of it. Ow. Okay, just one more on Big Joe. There. Okay, probably would be somewhat smart to try and even out the damage on them so that the survivor doesn't, well, do this. At least not for long. The move. I'm going to presume that it is easier to dodge Little Joe than it is Big Joe. We go. Perfect timing. You should have taken Jefferson's offer. Ha. Fight for Russia, fight for Creed, fight for the American. They're all the same. But situation being what it is, what does the American pay? Afraid you guys failed the interview process. Hope Creed's blood money was worth it. Not that you'll get to spend any of it. Big Joe already put down payment on Fancy Mansion. Nothing stands between Big Joe and Fancy Mansion. What? Uh, admittedly, that was very dramatic. Well, that was a dr <laughs> Big Joe didn't get to make much of a dramatic entrance, but he did make a dramatic exit. <laughs> Shame. Uh -huh. What's, done is done. What's done is done. We have work to do. <laughs> Major victory. Defeat Joe brothers. Okay, so there were at least brothers. <laughs> maybe twins. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not our problem anymore. Yeah, let's see if we can find a hammer. <laughs> okay. Now, what are we going to be do Okay, we're moving to the next area. Okay. Anything around here? Ooh, there is something up there. And shop beans. Okay, what do we have hidden around here? Ow. Ow. Jeff just got a laser haircut. Okay. Oh, 
immediately there. Oh, hello. Okay, no cyborg key cards. Those were Galahad. There we go. Okay, was kind of hoping for a heart or something, but still nice. That's still nice. Secret submarine! Nice! Oh, I could check that off my super spy bingo card. Vortex, you're driving. You're driving. <laughs> This, this is the vessel that will take us to the drowned city below, but I am bummed to say, I've never piloted the craft. I worry me, mate. As an officer of the Royal Navy, I'm an experienced submariner. I think the word is submariner. <laughs> I have not seen this language before. But this button has a fish on it. That's the one. Sailor's instinct. <laughs> Might as well have been the... The swimming with the fish's button. Behold, the drowned city. You won't see this place on the brochures. You ever been here before? No. The passing of the Holy Sentinel title. It happens here. I was supposed to come after completing my training, but... Climbing creep, even getting in the way of a proper ceremony. I love ceremonies. Kid, don't worry about all that silly stuff. I didn't go to my graduation either. Well, more like I wasn't allowed, but still! Dan say I'm a surprise. Yep, can't say I'm a surprise. Jeff, that's not what troubles her. Just listen. Creed's forces. I failed to defend my ancestral land. I am not ready to be the Holy Sentinel. Kid, you know how many times people have told me I ain't ready for something? More times than I can count. I would never tell myself I ain't ready for something. And we ain't gonna let you say it either. You are ready. We're here to help. This makes me very happy. Even in the face of potentially world-ending destruction, we are ready. <laughs> Boombox, okay. Free the spear. And let's see, Cookie, Big Joe, he gone now. Yeah, but like all these, VA have different accents. <laughs> okay, bird up. And yes, I am going to make it, keep making a stupid bandan uh, reference with the birds. That looks. Oh, that's a reference. Yeah. It's on the notes. Siphon anchor. Atlantean core personnel, be advised the final siphon anchor has been installed. The core is officially under Creed's control. It's imperative that every anchor runs without issue 24-7. The Citadel's protective shield depends on the core's power. On a related note, we have officially gone green. Since the core produces no harmful environmental byproduct, except for the potential of world destruction, we are now an eco-friendly organization. And I think that just... <laughs> okay, we'll have to find some place to put a, a, a save, because I think there was just dinner call. Yeah, I was getting ready for that, and hence I said we should probably get a hammock. Mm, yep, wrong move. Mm. Actually, I think we, we can probably do with a save that was probably at the start there, when we moved in here. Uh, I, I don't fully pay attention to when it does and doesn't put up a save icon. Let's see, can we just travel back with it? Yes. Okay. Loading, and hmm, not seeing a, not seeing a save icon. Hmm. Okay, I might need to, we might need to pause the game, go raid quickly, and then I'll just run back to the nearest. Uh, I'll just run back to the nearest uh, hammock. But for now, then, yeah, <laughs> that'll be it for today's stream. So let me remove the always on top. And look for someone to raid. Uh, let's see. I think it will probably be easier if I just pick someone. Uh, Elden Ring, Abiotic Factor, Fatal Frame 3. Let's go say hi to Frogcast. Uh, okay, the place is muted. Forgot to double check. Okay. Let's just copy the name. Head to our place. Slash raids. 
paste. But before we start it, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Cookie. Thank you, Pizza. Uh, thank you, Marco. And I see that both Sensei and Noon have been lurking. <laughs> and thank you as always, look here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. Uh, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully some more Minecraft, maybe something else. Uh, I think I'm... I'm not... <clears throat> I'll continue work on that uh, server fair lot that I've been working on. Uh, hopefully we won't get distracted this time. <clears throat> and yeah, I've basically completed most of the Ars Nouveau stuff on there that I wanted to put. So for the rest of it, we can put down uh, yeah occultism and maybe some iron spell stuff. Though honestly, with iron spells, it's not that interesting outside of just the spell books alone. <coughs> Pardon. And yeah, we will continue with Mark of the Ninja or get get started with its DLC on Tuesday, and maybe some multiplayer on Monday. <coughs> Hopefully. And yeah. But for now, uh, yeah, yeah. thank you all again for watching. Let's get that rate started. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well and have a lovely Saturday. And watch out for Creed seagulls. That's you. <laughs>